Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to this week's update focusing on our patients. Here at the Trust, we are a proud part of the City of Research. It's work that plays an important role in the development of new drugs and other treatments, as well as providing insights into the health and well-being of the communities we serve. It's only thanks to the many research volunteers in our community that we can speed up the development of these safe, new treatments, as well as deliver better outcomes for all our patients. This week, we hear from Professor Dinesh Saralea, Consultant Respiratory Physician and Associate Director of Research, as well as Jaina, his patient whose health was transformed after taking part in an asthma drug trial. I am a firm believer that today's research is tomorrow's medicine. Clinical trials are so vital because it not only improves access to these newer treatments, it improves their outcomes. We know that organizations which take part in research provide better care to our patients. Yeah, so, and... Jaina is one of my severe asthma patients. She's been known to me for about 10 years. She had very poorly controlled asthma. I asked her whether she was interested in taking part in a clinical trial. She took the patient information leaflet. Uh, she discussed it with her husband and her family, and she decided she was going to take part in this trial. She had a 50% chance of getting this new drug. And in Jaina's case, uh, I, uh, she got the investigational drug, and it was a new drug which is now licensed within the NHS and is widely used. And she made a fantastic response. She did not have any flare-ups of her asthma. She stopped needing the steroid tablets, which have lots of harmful side effects. One of the things I vividly remember her saying is she had very bad uh, sinus problems. So she was getting headaches, she was not able to smell, and this was also flaring up her asthma because the two are linked together. So people don't realize, people just think it's only smell. No, there are a lot of things otherwise as well why you need your smell. There are times when I would leave the cooking on the gas and it's a phone call or something and you get busy on the phone and you forget that there's something cooking in the kitchen. It's burning, the smell, but you can't smell it. I've got a boutique. I remember we had those halogen heaters. So I left the dresses up on the counter. I got up and I just saw my dress was burning just right next to me. I couldn't smell. So we compared you to the first one. The only thing I knew was I was desperate. I needed to be better. And I just said, whatever you ask me to do, doctor, as long as I can, I can, you know, enjoy my life. They said, we want you to read through the whole paperwork and come back in a week's time and then tell us if you would want to be a part of the study. You're scared. It's your first drug, first time, you don't know what's going to happen to you. And you've heard stories before of trials going wrong. Went back in a week's time, they injected me and they were monitoring me for the two hours. Post that, again, the blood pressure and everything and everything seemed normal. And then they asked me to go home and they said, if there's anything, any concern, just call us straight away. Came out, sat in the taxi and whilst on the return, there was something happening which I, I can't figure out. I couldn't figure out what was happening to me. I was a bit nervous. So I came home, opened the door, and for the first time I could smell the clothes. And I knew it was my nose. I could smell it. That moment, I, it's been ages, but I still cannot forget that feeling, climbing up, trying to smell each and everything when I was coming up to my flat. I could do everything. I actually forgot I had asthma then. The drug did wonders to me. I couldn't do two hula hoops. So I was gasping and today I can just do 40, 50 hula hoops in one go, which I never thought I'd ever do. So I had my first trial, they stopped it, then they put me on a drug. It was about seven months ago, I got a call from the team if I could uh, come down for another trial. And I'm like, okay, I just went to see them because I was, I was really happy with what was going on. I really didn't want to be, I want to change this. So I asked him, do you need me? And he said, yes. And I said, here's your favor returned. I'll come down, not because I want to, but I know it will help you and in general help people. 
I haven't even opened the other one because I've just... I absolutely recommend this to each one. And it's not only about asthma. I would say about anything. Until there's a research, you do not know what's going to happen. And I'm one of those lucky persons who it's helped me. And why not? I know this friend of mine and her daughter has been diagnosed with MS. And I just told her, there's hope somewhere. We don't know there's research going on. Look what's happened to me. I had given up, I learned to live with it. And now, there I am back again. And I know it's not as bad as it used to be. And I'm sure with some research, you'll be back. So there's hope always.